It's been three months since the last Nintendo Direct and all the hype for all the major titles they announced is massive. I mean, we're getting a new Zelda game, basically a new Partners in Time, a Switch Sports update, a Donkey Kong Country port, another new Dragon Quest, Funko Fusion, been excited for this game, a Luigi's Mansion port, another big Switch Online update, a new Mario Party, Just Dance, Lego Horizons also going to be on the Switch, which is interesting considering it's a PlayStation exclusive. Stray was a good announcement and I'm just excited for everything, but the one that stood out to me the most was a new metroid prime game who would have thought it's been seven years and finally it's coming out this is why i always tell people to support the remasters or the ports because that's the studio's way of seeing if people are still interested in a new game and the metroid prime remaster was so well received they just had to make a new game and here it is metroid prime 4 beyond seems like it features the prime 3 shop design prime 2 various suit the bang and soundtrack and silux the prime franchise is back and despite the hate people calling metroid a dead game a lot of og fans from back in the day are happy to see nintendo hasn't abandoned metroid just yet it'll be dropping next year in 2025 sadly which kind of sucks we have to wait a year for this game but then again there's a reason why they put it in 2025 which is kind of what i wanted to go over in this video because a lot of people believe that this game is gonna be one of the selling points for the new nintendo switch switch 2 because i mean look at the graphics it looks way too good to be a switch 1 game there are people saying this cannot be a switch game this is definitely for their next gen console because the switch one would explode if it were to run this game and i believe it nintendo has been teasing a new console for years now all of these announcements have to be tied to a new system they all look incredibly demanding i don't think the switch can handle this but i mean who knows tears of the kingdom i think is the most demanding switch game when that game came out last year it really pushed the console's hardware to its limit and the game ran pretty good with no problems considering the switch's hardware limitations but metroid prime 4 will be no different i mean they ported over the original they were trying to get new players into the fps side of the franchise and it worked the game sold so well both new and old fans enjoyed it there were even some people during the nintendo direct stream saying metroid is a fps game it's crazy how some people didn't know this they thought it was just a platformer and that's it but this is why sometimes it's good to remaster and remake old games last time i played metro prime it was during the gamecube days and i was like eight years old i think nintendo is just now getting the hang of ray tracing and dynamic lighting really experimenting with the newest games and focusing primarily on graphics because no other switch game has looked this good metroid prime 4 kind of reminds me of that halo and doom look the graphics looks like a mix of both but if the rumors are true nintendo intends to launch prime 4 with the new switch though they'll probably just do what they did with breath of the wild and have the game release on old gen and new gen for everyone to enjoy because most people they're not going to upgrade to the switch 2 right away the switch has been around since 2017 nobody has that type of money right now <laughs> especially with the cost of living in 2024 definitely not but eventually when the new system is out they're gonna start slowly shifting towards new gen and killing off the switch one the same process they did with the wii u version of breath of the wild but just glancing over at this new game you can clearly tell a lot of new improvements have been made to this particular switch game i'm not just glazing i mean look at it everyone's just mind blowing how well this game looks because switch doesn't really have a good reputation when it comes to graphics i mean look at certain ports like mortal kombat which got the most hate i know it's not a nintendo first party game but it could it look way better not really worth the money too so i think nintendo's really trying to change things around and prove to people that they have what it takes to make a graphically demanding game that's not just open world or a platformer but a fps title nintendo's trying to make games for the big boys even announcing a new horror game in the works and a switch online mature category i don't think this is to compete with the other next gen consoles but who knows this all sounds interesting if the switch 2 were to come out in 2025 i know metro prime 4 would be a big selling point for the new console but it won't be the main game they would have to announce a new mario zelda or kirby game because not trying to hate but those are their biggest characters we can't lie guys metroid would work as the biggest mascot for the new console but like i said it's more of an old title among its current player base it would be smart of nintendo to do considering most of the samus fans we have adult money now so we can spend money on a new console but zelda and mario just sells better so if a switch 2 is going to come out it has to launch a mario or zelda we've been getting a crazy wrapped in a mario game so there's one coming out next month around my birthday too future video planned on superstar so stay tuned so my guess is a tears of the kingdom dlc has to be because we're getting a new zelda game pretty soon but it's a 2d platformer just like Link's awakening so i know a lot of people are saying that the graphics on this game means the switch 2 is coming out because there's just no way the switch one will be able to handle it but i don't know nintendo has been proving to us time and time again that a new gen game can be run on switch one even if it is just 30 fps regardless this is all definitely a hint 
statement of what Nintendo's been working on. I think the company is still working on a next-gen console, but it's just not going to launch with a Metroid game. A lot of people have been breaking down the gameplay and trying to see any little thing that points that a new Switch is coming out. It turns out the initial rendering resolution counts at 900p, which is literally just the same as Metroid Prime Remastered. Nintendo just does a really good job of making sure their games run well on their console. So if they improve the graphics, they're just going to disco everything and drop the frames. I just hope it runs well. Plan on pre-ordering this game, so it better be good. There's no release date just yet. It's going to be announced in 2025. So who knows? I may be wrong, and it might actually be coming out on the Switch 2, not the Switch 1. But all hints right now point towards the game just coming out on the original Switch, and that's it. I hate to say it, but even looking at it at a business standpoint, it's like I said, the new console definitely won't launch with Metroid. They're going to have to go with their boy Mario or Zelda. <laughs> it's the best-selling Switch games of all time. I'm a Metroid fan, and even I got to admit the feet to the plumber. We're just too ancient, guys. Still, the community's hype for this game. It's going to be good. I still haven't even beat the remaster. This hype makes me want to revisit it. So make sure you're following me on my Twitch because I plan on streaming and playing the game. But yeah, I just want to talk on this. Share my thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So be sure to let me know what you guys all think. I try and read or reply to everything with subtimes and notifications coming in and IRL situations get in the way. But hey, at least I try. Other YouTubers don't. <laughs> be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Stay blue. Love of myself, but it hurts sometimes Suicide, no, cut it out